React Router introduced a new API to define routes since version 6.4. It is known as the so-called Data API. Let's see what's the big deal about it. The main goal of this Data API is to make routing a lot more flexible and modular, so we can use it comfortably across our React app. There's a few changes in the new API. First of all, let's refactor our code. We'll go to our main JSX file and refactor on how we registered the browser router. Here's how it works. In the data API, we'll need to call the correct browser router function to create the browser router. The argument will accept an array of route objects, and they are the same as what we have already defined inside our app.js in the use routes hook. So we can simply cut and paste it over to our main JSX file. So once we have created our router, the next step will be registering this router. What we need to do is to call a new component called router provider and pass our router variable in as a prop. And that's it, we're done. So technically speaking, we don't really need our app JSX component since we're now defining our routes inside the main JSX file. Let's go ahead and delete the app component and also import all the page components inside our main JSX file. And now let's go to the browser and take a look at our app. And as you can see, everything is still working as before. Now the data API is not just a change in the API on how we load the router. It also provided us a number of powerful features that can help us tremendously in building our front-end SPA. The most notable features are the action and loader functions that we can attach to a route. Let's look at the documentation to look at the syntax. So loader is essentially a function that will be triggered before the page is mounted. It could be useful for us to call API requests that will fetch data required by the page. Action on the other hand will be triggered whenever there's a non-get HTTP request calling upon the page. This function was typically triggered whenever there's a form submission. Anyway, that was a quick introduction. We will discuss more about the details in the next lesson. I'll see you there. Key takeaways for this lesson. Data API is an alternative syntax for us to define and register the routes in React Router. Data API offers a more flexible and modular API. The loader function is called when the page is mounted and the action function is triggered when there's a non-get HTTP request that was called against the page. That's it for now and I'll see you again in the next video. If you would like to see more content, consider supporting us by becoming a member at my website, acadia.io. It is similar to Patreon, but in return, you get a lot of premium tutorials and lessons. If you can't become a member, that's totally fine. We are just happy that you are here. We spend a lot of time and energy to produce high quality videos for you. Feel free to check out our other videos on YouTube. And if you can leave a thumbs up, you will really make my day. If you subscribe, I would jump for joy and I'll make more videos for you. Thanks for your support and I'll see you next time.